Good morning, everyone. So today I will show you guys how to save, um, in some cases, attempt to save moldy eggs. So uh, I never give up on a moldy egg. I never, if it's moldy, if I know it's a fertile egg and it's just moldy, it's not a slug, I do not give up on it. I will incubate it the full time. As you can see here, I have um, separate cups because they will all be separated. Um, it's crazy. We've never really had issues with mold. And for some reason, this clutch, I have a good six eggs that now have mold on them. Not real bad. It's the beginning of mold. Um, it, it's just it's weird. I've never had this big of an issue before. So in the same incubator we always use, same substrate, same method. Um, she did carry these eggs um, a good 16, 17 days longer than she should have at the very max time. Um, to the point where uh, we was making a vet appointment because we were scared she was going to get egg bound. She had carried them so long. So I'm not sure maybe that played a part in it. Maybe it didn't. I don't know. But I've never, ever had this issue this bad. So what you're going to do, as you can see in our said, you're going to get little cups for them, whatever you have, to separate them from the rest of the clutch. And you're going to get Lotrimin. Um, make sure it is the powder. You do not want the cream. You don't want the spray. You want powder. And it's literally um, for athlete's feet. Um, it's for human, of course, but it works amazing with any kind of reptile eggs, not just bearded dragons, um, any kind of reptile eggs. And, and all you're going to do is I take a little paper towel. I'm going to put the paper towel down here, and I would do one egg at a time. And as you can see, our eggs are already marked top up, so I won't have any issues um, treating them and then moving them to their new home. So I take my egg, which is not as easy as I thought it would be with one hand. It's rolling a tiny bit, but that's fine. Um, and you're going to put the powder on. And you want, if, if you can physically see the mold, you're going to want to get it off, wipe it off, um, get something, a tiny, tiny drop of water on it if you need to, um, get it off, and then take a dry paper towel, dry it, and then apply your powder. Ours aren't, oh, in there she went. Ours are not too bad. Don't worry, that was a really fast roll. She's fine. She went and drowned in that short of a time. For anybody who's going to freak out. Um, you just really softly get the mold off. Which I'm only going to do one in front of you guys. Because this is not that easy. And I want to make sure they're all done really well and properly. Um, and you don't have to. I wouldn't say you absolutely have to. But I do. After I treat them and get them transferred to their new home, I then go in and depending on how many eggs were bad in this clutch, I now either scoop all of this out, toss it and put new in, or I might even take them all out and just put new in all of them and wipe it down. Um, this is our worst one right there. It got this little hard bump on the end. But right now, the veins are still growing. It still looks pretty good. I candled it last night. So hopefully it was not too late. I got the powder um, at a later date than I normally would have liked to. But um, hopefully it'll be okay. We, we had a lot going on. Um, we're from Sweet Ohio where we have a three-year-old little boy, three-year-old little autistic boy missing. Hey, Peter, you got out? Um. <laughs> and the entire weekend from the time we opened our eyes until late in the evening, we was out in the woods searching, going through creeks, you know, just hours and hours and hours of being in the woods for the entire weekend. He's been missing since Friday. Unfortunately, he is still out there. 
So, um, I will admit that over the weekend, our animals did not see us that much. They got fed, they got watered, and that was about it. Um, but finding this little boy was more important than anything that we have going on in our lives, in our business, period. So, um, I would have done these Friday had it not been for everything going on. Um, I am going to make it back out later today to search some more. My sister goes back to work, so she won't be with me. But, um, I did have to stop and take care of some things in our home for our family, like this. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to get finished. I am going to get the powder on these guys. You want to, uh, oops, <laughs> they want a nice liberal amount. That was a, a bit much. Then I just rub it all over the egg. But as you can see, I can't do it with one hand. As I tell you guys in all my videos, I suck at holding the camera and trying to do a video. But when I put the phone down, I will get it on the rest of this egg. I will put him in his new home and in the incubator he will go. And if you guys have any mold stories, success, fun, successful, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed and a part of the Rupta family, to hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, if there's something you want to see, leave it in the comments. Let us know what video you want next. Do you want an update on one of our rescues? Um, do you want a feeding video? Do you want an egg video? Do you want a baby video? Let us know what y'all want to see in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and please, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We love and appreciate all of y'all's support. And the best way to support Repti Sisters and our rescue and our breeding program is to subscribe to our channel. Um, if you guys see during that search, um, on Saturday's search for the missing little baby, um, we found and rescued a ball python. We have a couple videos up on our page, so if you haven't already saw them, um, when this video ends, go look at those now. And you guys have a great day. Bye.